So now that the dot product has been introduced for vectors, we've seen that we can use this to calculate the angle between two vectors. And right now, before we start doing explicit angles, we want to calculate uh, whether or not the angle between two vectors is acute, right angle, or obtuse. So right now, the vectors we want to do in question are 2, 3, and minus 1, 2. So recall that this means whether or not the angle is obtuse, acute, or right corresponds to the sine of the dot product. So for the case of R2, so x, y. So we'll draw the unit circle just so we can have our angles. Um, so this is theta. And then this is v, w. So here, the angle is positive. And it's going to be positive anywhere around here. Sorry. That is, cosine theta is going to be positive. And recall from the definition of the angle between two vectors, we define cosine of theta to be, if the two vectors here are v and w, So when cosine theta is positive, this angle is acute. And when it is negative, that is, the angle, say, is over here, it's obtuse. And when, it's, when the two vectors are perpendicular, that is, cosine of theta is 0, we know that the two angles meet at right angle, or the two vectors are orthogonal to each other. OK. So the nice thing about just determining whether or not it's acute, obtuse, or right is we don't actually have to compute the magnitudes of the vectors. We just have to take the dot product and look at the sign of it. So right here, we take the dot product. So two, three. And recall that this is done by summing over, so it'd be minus 1 times 2 plus 3 times 2. That is minus 2 plus 6 or 4. Well, 4 is positive, so that means that the angle is acute. And that's how we do it.